A reading from the book of Revelation. John said, an angel showed me the river of life-giving water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the street. On either side of the river grew the tree of life that produces fruit 12 times a year, once each month. The leaves of the tree serve as medicine for the nations. Nothing accursed will be found anymore. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will look upon his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. Night will be no more, nor will they need light from lamp or sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, The words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of prophetic spirits, sent his angel to show his servants what must happen soon. Behold, I am soon coming. Blessed is the one who keeps the prophetic message of this book, the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the tops of the mountains are his. His is the sea for he has made it and the dry land which his hands have formed. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, in that that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. We come to the end of one liturgical year. Let's see here B. So today at four, or tomorrow, of course with the Vigil Mass, we start a new liturgical year with a season of Advent. This Mass ends the Masses of this year. And our readings point to that, to that end, to that time of ending, not only liturgical year, but it points it reminds us to a time that our existence on earth is transformed into a different existence in the presence, in the complete presence of the Lord. The first reading points out that while still on this earth, the presence of God must be something we believe in or must be something we feel and experience in our daily life. And it helps to show God now lives among his people. There is no need for physical structures as a means of identifying God. You remember that this, this way of, of new faith is being preached because before Israel believed the, the Jewish tradition and it that God was present as far as the temple was standing in their midst. There was almost a synonymous equationing of God's presence with the physical structure, the temple. 
And so now we are being reminded or being taught that our faith must much mature to know that God is not dependent on a physical uh, structure. Rather, God is present, is dwelling among his people. Yes, this physical structure serves to help us to worship, to help us have a discussion and meet and reflect and celebrate in the context of a sacred space and place. But you can't contain God in a physical structure. We can't equate God into physical structures. God dwells among his people. The second point, the same first reading shows us, is the equality of God and the Lamb, the equality of the Father and the Lamb. Both dwell among people as one God. So what do we do, Luke tells us, as long as we live in this physical world, we need to be awake so that the last time, the last day, do not touch, catch us as if we never were aware that this is a temporal world. How do we stay awake? Pray at all times. And it, Luke tells us, prayer helps us to stand in confidence while we experience the tribulations and the persecutions and the difficulties of this world. Prayer will help us stand in confidence and also provide us strength to survive all the upheavals that will come into this world. And finally, Luke tells us, then we have to use the gospel to guide us in our Christian life. This is the program that Luke has provided and is the one that concludes our liturgical year this year. The gospel is good to, be, to guide us in our Christian life. We pray to be able to stand in confidence, to stand in, with strength, and to use the spiritual tools to help us live our Christian life. Let us thank the Lord for giving us a full liturgical year that we have celebrated his presence in our midst and that we have passed on this great good news to others in our way of life and our way of acting. We pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, James, Isabel, Salvatore, John, Maria Lux, Gonzalo, Vivera, Father John Lynch, Andrew and Han Mino, we pray to the Lord. For ourselves, that as we start a new year, liturgical year, that we may experience the presence of God in our families, in our community, in our schools, in our workplace, and that we may witness this God in all those circumstances. We pray to the Lord. What else we pray for? Lord, hear our prayer. Today's World AIDS Day, so let's pray for all those impacted by the disease, their family members, loved ones, and caretakers. Let us pray for them. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer for Let us pray for them. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for scientific innovations, especially in the, in the field of health, that humanity may come up with the cures to the difficult diseases that has claimed millions of people all over the world. We pray to the Lord. For this and all that is in our minds, in our hearts, in our families, in our community of faith, in our neighborhood, we bring all this to Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior forever and ever.